Hello guys, in this video I'd love to help you get started with Java programming by setting up IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition with Java 24 on Windows computer. I am Nam Aming at code java.net. In detail, I'm going to show you how to download IntelliJ installer for Windows and set up IntelliJ Ultimate version 2025.1 as of April 2025. And then install Java 24 with OpenJDK right inside the IDE. And finally, create and run your first Java project using IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition. So what is IntelliJ IDEA? You know, IntelliJ is an intelligent Java IDE developed by JetBrains company. It is smarter and more powerful than Eclipse and NetBeans IDEs. And IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition is a commercial edition. That means you will have to pay to use it. IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition is widely used for developing Java Enterprise, Java web applications, and frameworks such as Submarine Framework, Hybrid Framework. It's free for evaluation in 30 days. And this is the official homepage of IntelliJ IDEA, jetbrains.com slash IDEA. Uh, let me show you how to download IntelliJ IDEA installer from official source. So in your web browser, go to website jetbrains.com slash idea. You see, this is the official page of JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA. You see, IntelliJ IDEA the IDE for professional development in Java and Kotlin. Okay, you can scroll down to learn more, learn more about the features of this very popular ID. Click the download button. And for Windows, you see, for Windows, you can download the installer in form of XZ. Uh, XZ, if your computer running on Intel chip, or XZ Windows ARM 64, if your Windows, your PC computer running on AMD chip. Okay, so my computer running on Intel chip. So I click the download button here for Windows. Exact for Windows. And you can see you can use IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition for free in 30 days. And as of April 2025, the latest version is 2025.1. And this is a system requirements. You see. 64 bit version of Windows 10, build number 1809 and later 2GB free RAM, 3.5GB hard disk space. Okay, so it means that you need to check your Windows version, build version to make sure that it meets the requirement. Okay, let me click the download button to start downloading the IntelliJ IDEA installer for Windows. Okay, the download is in progress and the installer file size is about 1.2 gigabytes as you can see here. Okay, the download is complete and do not launch or run the installer right away because it's recommended to verify the downloaded file using SHA-256 checksum as suggested on the website here. Click here and click the photo icon to open the location of the downloaded file. Idea Ultimate Installer version 2025.1 and it is stored in the download folder under my user home directory. Okay, and to verify the integrity of this file on Windows, we need to uh, open a new command prompt. So press the start button and type cmd here and click the batch mask which is the command prompt here okay let me open again so we can see okay and use the cd command to change the current directory to the downloads directory under my user home directory and then you can see the downloaded intelligent installer here 
and to get chart to file checksum of the file we can use the command like this on windows type this command set ut dash hash file and then the file name idea and then 256 sha 256 this is a command to get the sha 256 checksum of the downloaded file you can see it uh, prints the sha 256 checksum of the installer file here and we need to compare this value against the one published on the download official download page here compare if both are the same both are identical we can simply use uh, run the installer okay so both the same that means the downloaded IntelliJ installer file is original and i can now set up IntelliJ ID on my windows computer so to install IntelliJ idea ultimate double click the installer file here okay this is the IntelliJ idea setup program as you can see here welcome to IntelliJ idea setup click next to proceed and the uh, before destination folder under program files here and it requires free disk space of about 4.3 gigabytes here okay click next okay and then you can see the option to create desktop shortcut or uh, update and update context menu to add open folder as project and create file associations with the extension .java window rov and so on so i just want to create desktop shortcut so i check only IntelliJ idea under create desktop shortcut here and click next okay and it will put a start menu jetplanes menu entry jetplanes here click install okay the installation of IntelliJ idea ultimate edition is in progress uh, just a couple of minutes to complete okay the installation of IntelliJ idea ultimate is complete click finish to close the setup program okay and on the desktop you can see a shortcut for IntelliJ idea on desktop here yeah, IntelliJ idea you can also access IntelliJ idea from the menu on the start menu here IntelliJ idea you see okay so let me click here to launch uh, IntelliJ idea here we go IntelliJ idea ultimate edition check this option to accept the user agreement click continue this here uh, the commercial edition of IntelliJ idea so you can see there are two options use it as in free 30 day trial or activate license if you have IntelliJ idea license you can click the button activate license here if not click the button free 30 day trial here to start uh, trying using IntelliJ idea ultimate for 30 days and then you can decide to pay later okay this is uh, you can skip this form okay back to the IDE and this is the first time I open IntelliJ idea ultimate and it asks me to import settings from Visual Studio Code I don't have any settings so I click skip import button here we go this is a welcome screen of IntelliJ idea ultimate click here to see about the IDE then you can see I have successfully installed IntelliJ idea ultimate edition version 2025.1 license to child user and the subscription is active until May the 16th 2025 that means I have 30 days before I need to pay to use the ultimate edition okay click close 
Next, let me show you how to create your first Java project in IntelliJ Ultimate and install Java 24 with OpenJDK 24. So on the welcome screen, click new project. Okay, enter the project name. You can see this is the uh, ultimate edition. So you can see it supports uh, various kind of, kinds of projects. You can create such as Java Colon Groovy, Jakarta EE, Serving Boot, Java FX, HTML React Express, and so on. Okay, enter the project name as my first Java program. The default location is under idea projects under my user home directory and choose the default default build system by IntelliJ Maven or Gradle JDK. It detects open JDK 23 on my computer and to install Java 24 with open JDK 24 you can see it automatically suggest download Oracle open JDK 24 here. If you don't see this option, you can click the menu Download JDK. Okay, and choose Java version 24 from the list and vendor Oracle and the default location. It will install Open JDK onto this into this directory. Okay, click select. Okay, click create, and then it will download and install Open JDK 24 in the background as you can see here in the background download open jdk24 is in progress and you can see it creates a new java project my first java program and you can see some generated code here this is your main class uh, with the main method is the entry point to the application and in this uh, main method, it prints the text hello and welcome, and it runs a loop from 1 to 5 and prints the value of the variable i. Okay, so that's the way uh, for the downloading and installation of OpenJDK24 right inside the IDE. So that means you can install the IDE. Uh, without the need to have JDK installed previously, just install IntelliJ IDE and then install a specific version of JDK right inside the IDE. Okay, done. And then now let me show you how to run this uh, very simple project. Click the play button here to run the main method. Okay, and here is the result. It prints hello and welcome and the values of the i variable running from 1 to 5. Okay, you see. So, with IntelliJ Ultimate, you can create a various kind of enterprise Java projects. Okay, let me open the IDE again. And when Creating a new project, you can choose Spring Boot, Jakarta EE, or React. Let me go to close the project and then come back to the welcome screen. New project, then you can see the project types on the left side here. You can choose Java Kotlin, Jakarta EE, Spring Boot, Java FX, HTML, React Express, and so on. And that's my guy about installing IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition on Windows operating system with Java version 24, OpenJDK 24. So you now can begin creating, developing, and running Java Enterprise applications using IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to support this channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.